welcome back. Okay, welcome back to my YouTube channel, you guys. I cannot tell you how excited I am because I need to be pushing out content like it needs to be rolling because you guys are so amazing. I have seen the most growth in my channel ever and I feel like I'm so happy making content because I'm finally making content that matters to me. I never realized how important it is that if you're going to do any type of social media platform that you like preach what you're about and I feel like I'm really doing that with the military content. So. I'm gonna keep like doing what I'm doing like my vlogs are still gonna keep coming but I plan to push out more military like I don't know a lot of you guys like to see my life a lot of you guys don't and are only here for the military thing but at the end of the day your girl's a lifestyle vlogger here on the tube and I try to just show you guys every aspect of my life one YouTube video at a time I am active duty National Guard so I will incorporate military stuff in some of my vlogs and that's it's gonna keep coming like it's gonna keep coming on my channel whether you like it or not but today's video is military related if you guys are new and this is your first time clicking here hit the subscribe button do yourself a service and hit the subscribe button I'll stay here and wait we can wait we can hurry up and wait till you hit the subscribe button say hi this is my cat Bivy I named her after, you know, a bivy cover for your sleeping bag, you know? Got that TA-50 name. Anyways, okay, I gotta stop being stupid. So, um, we're about to talk about the pros to being in the National Guard. Your girl made a list. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk about the cons in this video, so go ahead, thumbs up this video, and drop me a comment in the comment section if you guys wanna see the cons video, but I have, a reason, well the main reason why I didn't want to put that in this video is because I feel like people who usually watch content like this may be on the fence about joining and I didn't want them to just like fast forward to the cons of the Army National Guard because honestly for me the cons are going to be things that I really had to think about and come up with because I like mentally the National Guard is such a big part of my life that the cons don't mean shit to me, um, but they may mean something to somebody else. So for me, they're not a big deal, but to you, they may be a big deal. And yeah, we just, it needs its own video if we're really about to sit here and do that because for every con, I can think of how to flip that into a pro. So it ain't gonna be in this video. Um, my pros are going to be broken down into two formats. We're going to talk about money and we're going to talk about benefits because I couldn't think of any way to categorize and I'd like to categorize my videos so let's talk about shmoney uh, we all know that most people join the military for the benefits and the money I mean let's be real and it ends up being more for some people for me it was it meant more so as far as the money goes there are some things that I want to touch on that I've seen on other YouTube military vlogger channels and they just honestly piss me off really bad. Um, money in the military is not the same for everybody. I'm going to say this again. Money in the military is not the same for everybody. So when you see the videos that are like a freaking YouTuber holding up their LES like it's some freaking badge of honor, um, it's not. Let's be real. Um, when it comes to money in the military, one, everybody's life is different. You could have child support coming out of your paycheck. You could have extra taxes coming out of your paycheck. You don't know what they claimed on their W-2 or W-4, whatever the frick that form is that we have to fill out. You don't know people's lives and you also may not, like the YouTuber may have not disclosed how many years of service they have. So when it comes to money in the military, you will get paid based on your rank in your years of service and you will also have to fill out the standard forms that you fill out for taxes to be withheld like I said if you, if you got issues with child support or student loan payment or anything like that that extra money is coming out then your paycheck is may not look the same as someone who has the same rank I'm gonna just I'm gonna just give you an example um, I 
was a specialist, my friend was a PFC, I had one more year of service than she did, and I had the highest amount of taxes taken out because that's just me, I always do, and she had no taxes taken out because if you're under a certain amount of money, um, like, I don't know, you can just not have taxes taken out. I don't really understand it, but it's basically they don't come for you um, if, you're, if you're making under a certain amount. So essentially, she made way more money than me, even though I was higher ranking and had been in longer. So those are the type of things that people don't understand when they make videos like that. And I just want to make sure that I put that into the atmosphere so that people are out here getting confused. So the other thing, other reason that I wanted to talk about money is because there are some technical things in the National Guard that people on YouTube do not talk about. Even National Guard YouTubers, which there ain't many of us, do not talk about this on YouTube. Um, I'm a, like, put this out there from the beginning that I, my previous active duty job for the Army was working in the budgeting field for the National Guard, so I have learned I've learned some things and the biggest thing that I want to put in this video is exactly how the whole drill weekend thing works. So drill weekend, you get paid according to MUTAs, M-U-T-A, MUTA. A MUTA <laughs> stands for Multiple Unit Training Assembly. This is how your readiness NCO is going to categorize you so that you can get paid your shmoney. And a MUTA is equivalent to four hours of pay. I'm pretty sure this is how those work. It's equivalent to four hours of pay. So a drill weekend is called a MUTA Four. When it comes to pay, I think this actually may be listed on your LES. Um, I could be wrong about that part, but it is four hours of pay. Well, when you go to drill weekend, you get paid according to an eight hour duty day. So Saturday, eight hours. Sunday, eight hours. So when you go to drill, it's a mute of four. Now, that is how regular National Guard soldiers get paid. You also, and I just learned this, but you also get a little mini raise for every three years of service that you have. And this is in the military in general. Um, I never noticed it until I'm like over the seven year mark. So I noticed it this time, but it's literally, I mean, we're talking, we're talking coins, like little, <laughs> little minuscule amounts of money. But you know, my paycheck went up like $100 and I was like, why is my pay up $100? And that's when I found out that that's what that was. So there's that. And then there are other ways to get paid in the guard and definitely nobody talks about this in the guard. So I'm gonna tell you how you can make some extra money in the guard. So a lot of times, and, and I'll have stuff in my cons video about like how the drill weekends work and stuff because um, it is not always going to be two days out of the month. Like, I'm sorry, but we all learn that the hard way when we join the guard. You can do something called RMAs and I do not know exactly what that stands for. But basically, RMAs are only authorized to specific MOSs depending on what your what unit you're in. I was never authorized them in my last unit, but they just changed the regulation right before I left that my MOS was allowed to do them. But basically, uh, you can come in and work additional um, duty days. And these RMAs, you usually are authorized up to 30 a year. and. Most people will come in on a Friday, work eight hours, and then turn around and have drill weekend on Saturday and Sunday. So it gets you an extra day of duty pay. And it also counts towards retirement. So that is the other thing. A lot of people don't, nobody talks about this honestly, but you can retire in the National Guard. You do not have to be an active duty National Guard member to retire. You can retire as an M-Day soldier and still receive some sort of pay. That's another benefit is that you can retire in the Guard. You also can work full time for the Guard. There are technician positions, which are civilian jobs, but you have to be a National Guard service member to get those positions. They're basically only open to active National Guard members. And uh, 
you wear the uniform to work, but you're a civilian. It's 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 this whole it's a whole nother thing. Then there are ADOS positions, which that is what I was doing for the past couple of years, and that stands for Active Duty Operational or Operations Support. And ADOS positions are basically you are active, you're a National Guard soldier, but you are active duty. So you receive all the same benefits of active duty, but you stay in your state, like you're active to your state. And you still have to go to drill weekend, but you don't receive like a drill weekend paycheck because that's considered double dipping um, because you're getting an active duty paycheck. So you're getting paid on the 1st and the 15th of the month. You're also getting, um, if you do it for long enough, you also get your clothing allowance and whatnot. It's it's a whole nother thing for a whole nother video and if those are if I talk about anything in this video that you want to see other videos on please comment below and thumbs up this video and I'll I'll make them so there are many other ways that you can make money in the National Guard I like I said I can make a whole video about this um, and it's honestly like things that nobody talks about because most National Guard youtubers don't even know like they like I think every single National Guard YouTuber that I've seen on here is like oh my contracts up on this year and so they're like getting out or whatever but like that like this is my career so if those are videos you want to see let me know all right let's talk about benefits because this is the second category of this video and then I'll stop talking you guys' leg off um, First benefit, TRICARE. Health insurance is a big one. Um, that is such a pro. Like if you are a single soldier, I believe it's like $42, maybe $50 a month. A lot of people stay in the National Guard because the TRICARE is so, so cheap. I mean, for the love of TRICARE, you guys, like <laughs> they make memes about this. Um, there's also many benefits that you get according to your state. So I know in the state of Kansas, like we get free hunting and fishing licenses. We also get free taxes on our vehicle, like our vehicle tags. Um, I just had bought a new vehicle last year. I was on active duty orders. So I ended up not having to pay over $500 when I went to renew my tags. I only paid $47 because of this. Now. I just want to include this and it's up in this, I'll put it up here. I have a video about the Enlisted National Guard Association and that is the organization who puts things like that into play for service members. So if you are considering joining the National Guard, I'm gonna just casually plug, casually plug Ingus into this video because I am the junior enlisted chair for Ingus in the state of Kansas and everyone should join that organization is freaking awesome and go watch that video if you want to learn more about it I may make another video just talking about them but um, they help out a lot I'm reading on here because I'm blind um, you also still get you still get your military discounts um, you can still go to the PX buy whatever you need you don't have to pay tax there so if you live real close to a base that's nice. I mean, I've had to, had to drive an hour to a PX like three times this month to buy stuff. Um, you also can get military discounts though on the outside, like in the civilian world, because I know like Sam's Club does a military discount. Um, I think Costco might do one. Um, when you go out to eat at restaurants, they do a military discount. Nine times out of 10, if they see that you have USAA or like Navy Federal or whatever, they'll just automatically ask you. Um, but you still qualify for all of that. But let me just throw some shade right here and tell you that um, the stores like Champs, I can cuss you out right now in a way that would hurt your feelings. I'm not even kidding. Stores like that, unfortunately, have started going, they literally scan your cat card when you go in. Like, who, who? Oh, we gonna give military discount, but if you ain't active, we ain't about it. Like, okay. So, um, I get a military discount there because I'm active duty and somehow their computers scan your cat card and they know if you're active duty because if you're not, it like declines it. So, I don't know how they worked how they worked that out. They have to have some sort of contract with Uncle Sam or something. Um, but yeah, that's like one of the main stores. Like, how dare you? Anyways, 
I'm gonna get off it because it pisses me off. All right, so another thing that, another pro the National Guard people don't talk about is you can fly anywhere. You can fly anywhere. Like, um, Space A is a thing that you basically can go and catch a Space A flight and fly to like Hawaii or whatever. And I honestly think if you're just a regular M-Day soldier, you may have to pay like $20 or something, but it might be free, I don't really know. I know I get it for free because I'm active duty now, but Space A, you can fly anywhere um, in the US. If you're an M-Day soldier and if you're active duty National Guard soldier, then you can fly anywhere in the world that Space A may be traveling. I have yet to do it, but your girl's gonna do it, and when I do it, I'm gonna vlog it and tell you guys all about it because I haven't done it yet, and that's a benefit of the Guard that nobody knows about. All right, so I'm gonna touch on education. This is a whole nother video in itself, but obviously education is a big pro to the National Guard. Uh, I joined the National Guard because National Guard was the only branch that paid 100% of your tuition, and now that I know how the process works because I've used it, I did not get my tuition 100% paid for because I was dumb and didn't know how the system worked. And you have to make sure you do your research on how to get that accomplished. But basically, you can dip into federal and state tuition assistance. You qualify for both and there are certain ways to qualify for both, but then you also dip into your GI Bill, which there's post 9-11, there's chapter 31, chapter 33, there's all of those type of things and your girl has used them all. So thumbs up this video if you want an education video and how to use that for the National Guard. Um, but that's another pro of the Guard. They're really good about like the education benefits and a lot of people join for that. Not only that, but you can obviously still continue to go to school and be a National Guard soldier. So, the last thing I want to touch on is full-time jobs. Now, you can work full-time, like I said, in the Guard, or you can get a civilian job and still be a drill weekend soldier. This is one of those things that could go on the pros or the cons, but since we're talking about pros, I'm going to tell you what the benefit of it is. Um, your... A lot of your peers who aren't in the military are going to have to go out into the job market after college or after high school and they're basically not going to have experience. Most jobs that you apply for want three to five years entry level. I mean some of the jobs for me applying with my master's degree places they're like we need 10 years of experience and I'm like where? Wait, you expect me to have a master's degree and 10 years of experience? Come on, bro. But your basic training, AIT, um, and working your guard weekend, can you can manipulate your resume that that stuff can count as years of experience and it adds up and it adds up quick and there are ways to print out like documents from AIT and basic training that basically show that you have the experience. Um, colleges look at those so they can give you college credit for it. So you gain experience to put on your resume from being in the guard, which is definitely a pro. Also, nine times out of 10, employers who are super military friendly would rather hire someone that they know encompasses all of the strengths from being in the military than just some Joe Schmo off the street. They know that they can rely on you, especially as a National Guard soldier. I mean, you do the do one week in a month and, and like get it, you, you have to have it together all month for your one week in a month. So employers really look at that and they tend to hire you. Now, if you apply for a job where they have you working on the weekends, I can't, I can't help you there because you probably ain't gonna get hired and I'm not gonna lie about it, but some jobs are pissy about it and they do not want people who can't be there every weekend, especially if it's like a clothing store or something and that's when they make their main source of income. So it, it, it can go in the cons as well. You also have benefits like the VA home loan. I purchased a house at 25. 25, y'all. I will link my video of that and everything, but that's another benefit, the VA home loan. 
The last pro that I have to tell you is you get to stay close to home. Like if you're close to your family or your friends or you just you don't want to travel like outside of where you live, like you want to always be home based, you get to come home. Like I love Kansas. Like I know a lot of y'all like to come on here and comment, oh Kansas, like you live in Kansas, like people will snap me and be like, you live in Kansas, like what is there to do in Kansas, blah, 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 blah. Like homegrown, bred in Kansas, like I freaking love Kansas. Like I don't know what it is, but I'm like repping for Kansas. Like, <laughs> I mean, your girl, I have a sunflower tattoo, like come on now. So um, it's really awesome to think that when you raise your right hand and say your oath for enlistment and re-enlistment and whatever, um, you're, you are here for your state, you are here for your country. You literally do the do for everybody. When your governor calls on you to serve in a time of need for natural disasters in the homelands, we're who they call first. When your president says we need you in Afghanistan to fight, like, you're who they call. Like, so that is a benefit to know that you may have to go out and do these things, but you always come home to, to where your heart is, you know, and you get to stay close to your family members. Like, I don't know. I'm no, I'm just get passionate. Don't have me out here crying. <laughs> but anyways, that is my last pro. My battery is about to die because I'm long winded. So if there are any other videos that you guys want to see, you know where to leave them in the comment section. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button and I'm going to have, um, more videos coming for you guys. It's happening. So thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new and you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you guys can be updated every time. Add me on my socials. I always interact with you. I always follow back on the snap. And yeah, that's all I really gotta say. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next one.